Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my In Bloom series. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rinzi. It's been a couple weeks since I touched In Bloom for many reasons, but I did miss it. And for anyone coming from my Ultimate Decades series, I'm still prepping some stuff for the next episode, so that should hopefully be done soon. As is the case with my games, the drama wrote itself. Daisy's ex decided to show up despite my home regions mod. I don't think I updated it, that's probably why. <laughs> and it presented a dilemma. Some of you guys pointed out that maybe this is their chance to get together after 700 years. Because for anyone who is it familiar with my Ultimate Decade series? They're basically reincarnations of characters there. And to be honest, I was like, what if you guys are right? Because why are men? Why did Leo do that? But for this challenge specifically, Daisy does have to marry a sib who loves the outdoors. So maybe things will get messy, but I'm going to have to fix it somehow. <laughs> and honestly, I just want her and Leo to like figure things out. They're both young. I don't know. Things get messy before your frontal lobe is developed. And I definitely think she is like 22, 23 years old. So <laughs> as you guys can see, I did some light decorating for the upcoming spooky day. I decorated inside as well, just a little bit. I, I try not to decorate and make it look too cluttered, but you know, that is what I did here. And today is actually cookout day and her brother, Eric and his wife Lisa will be hosting that so I'm excited for that maybe it'll get a little messy and maybe I'll have Daisy bring Charlie over just to see how messy it can get and at this point anything that happens is just my fault for wanting to be messy <laughs> Daisy continues her streak of something that has to do with the health mod because if you guys remember at the end of the last episode, she was doing yoga and she pulled something, I guess. She's got limp leg. Daisy's leg is pretty beat up. Best to take it easy for a little while, though, of course, if the pain gets too unbearable, a trip to the doctor or some pain pills might help. So I did get her some Sim ibuprofen and she did take it. So she can't take any more right now because she already did. Uh, but she's still in a little pain. I like, girl. Are you serious? So I'm actually going to have her just cook something really quick before we head over. I've got this little tin of recipes from the granny's cookbook add on. So let's see. So let's just do a gourmet cheese board. Just a little something to snack on. And I'm excited because I did update Eric and Lisa's house. I spent a long time just trying to decorate the first floor only. I'm not even done with it, but I found a really cute house in the gallery. So we'll check that out. So, okay, that was quick. So let's put that in our inventory and I'll just have her quickly take care. Look at her limping. I can't. She needs a break. <laughs> so no yoga for a little bit. And also with Daisy's spooky party coming up, why did you guys tell me what you think everyone would dress up as for the party? because it is a costume party, obviously. So yeah, let me know. So I'm gonna, it's, so it's about 5.30. Let's go over to Eric's. Okay, so we are at Eric's house. I do have to have her go knock on the door, even though Eric is right there. Oh my God, look at her limp. And she's slipping, girl. Eh. This is so sad to watch. How long is she gonna be like this? in two days so i can't have her do yoga for two days eric's there waiting like okay now you can come in okay so before i have everyone come over i am gonna have daisy help just set up i'm gonna have to lock some doors <laughs> look at him trying to invite her to the humor and hijinks festival i still haven't gotten an update on whether he took that lady on a date i know there's a possibility of drama and having leon bring the other girl over, I forgot her name, but I don't think he would bring her since he, since they're not like together, I don't think he would bring her to someone else's house. It would be different if this was like at a bar or something maybe. So I'm not going to have him bring her over. And I also want to see if he does end up going on that date. Why are men, honestly? I, I feel like it was wrong, obviously, but you know, I, I just, I don't think he realized how it is. So 
Daisy's still gonna have Charlie come over just because I want to see if things get messy because I am an instigator. <laughs> so let me just go around and lock some doors. Okay, so I think we should be good. It's just such a big house. I don't want people wandering all over the place. It is a big and lovely house. Eric is an engineer and Lisa is a conservationist and I do feel like they have some side hustles as well like winemaking and whatnot so they make some good bank. So when you walk into the house here is the foyer. The layout of the house is pretty much the same. I just changed the inside decor and furniture and whatnot. So yeah this is where you walk in in and there's lisa with a drink just a little dining area a little book nook here is the kitchen when you walk through here it is one of it's like the family room i guess uh the sitting room the tv room i don't know but this is a cute little frame it's by ravishing so basically you put the frame up and then you can kind of cycle through outfits and poses and whatnot so this is the family it's eric lisa and donovan and you walk through here it is another family room i guess a sitting room it's very nice i i feel like this is more for company and then here is the dining room with the little bar back here with a bunch of stuff and then i'm not taking you guys upstairs because i spent so long decorating down here i haven't really gotten to the upstairs stuff yet but here's the backyard this is where i hope they will mostly stay there's like an outdoor fireplace and whatnot and bar ping pong beer pong table i got the beer keg out uh this little area for donovan and then over here we've got a hot tub with another fire pit or with a fire pit and just a little gardening area and there's pretty much just a garage over there and a gazebo that area back there is empty so yeah it's i'm pretty proud of it especially for as someone who doesn't really build anything again most of this build isn't even me i just decorate it so i'm just gonna have daisy help set up a bit uh i don't know where donovan is oh my god he is that he is right there he is right there let's put him in here <laughs> poor baby so obviously donovan's gonna be here because he lives here but i'm just gonna say that emily is with the babysitter just so i don't have to keep track of any tods and let's just set things up and i have two clubs one for her friends and one for her family so i'm gonna have the family come over Vickle's gonna come over and then we'll invite the friends so let's just get that going and this is from the Somic and Severinka mod it's like a tray where you can serve cocktails and a bunch of other drinks so I feel like Eric's definitely a beer man and maybe Lisa made some cocktails <laughs> so some strawberry margaritas sounds fun and let's turn this music on Oh boy, there she goes limping. And there's poor little Donovan. I'm going to have her come say hi to her nephew as well. Okay, here comes big bro. I feel like they're definitely the type of guys to like talk about the latest grill that they got or something. I don't know. <laughs> I know Eric loves his grill. So let's have him grill some. Yeah, let's just do some burgers. Can't go wrong with some burgers. Oh, Leon. In the end, Carrie Rhodes and I were not made for each other. Oh, thank God. Sorry to hear it, she says with a smile. <laughs> okay, so everyone's here. Daisy is limping on over. Poor girl. And let me just go ahead and start this gathering as well. So I think I have to have someone who owns this place um, here to start the gathering. So... Let me save my game because I'm scared. <laughs> so yeah, I've got Leon coming over as well as Anna and Mora because I know that the Blooms love those girls. And why don't you make hot dogs as well? I don't know if anyone's vegetarian. So just in case, why don't you make some tofu dogs? So everyone's just catching up while they wait for everyone else. And there are some cocktails. 
Oh my God, Donovan hates the music. Poor baby. <laughs> All right, let me control him to see what's... Oh my God, poor baby is so sleepy and the music is making... Oh, he's awake and sad. The music woke up. I'm sorry, baby. Let's have her comfort him. I haven't had her interact with her nephew, so let me turn this off. <laughs> he said that woke me up. You guys are so rude. And here comes some of the fresh. He's like, it's okay, little baby. We know Auntie Daisy's awesome. Look at him. Okay, so let's put him back down. There's Charlie. Eric is like, oh. I think everyone is also just kind of stunned. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> and here's Leon. He's probably like, who's that guy? Oh, and he came right to her. He's like, hey. But Charlie is keeping to himself. Jake uh, Jake wants to do a keg stand, okay. So everyone's going to start getting a little wild. <laughs> and Leon's helping out over here. He's making an herbal remedy, I guess? Okay. Madison, I think, is just trying to be polite. So there are a few things we have to do here. So everyone technically has to grill. I'll have her grill something as well. And everyone, just just grab a drink, please. Charlie is inside just having a moment, I guess. <laughs> is he okay? Oh, look. Eric was so happy to greet Leon as opposed to just being, just like nodding at Charlie. And Maura and Anna are just uh, whispering with each other, probably wondering what the hell is going on. I'm going to have Anna. Oh, looks like she's chatting with Leon. Everyone is showing their favoritism. Let's have her grab some drinks. I'll leave Daisy out of it for now. Oh, she is PMSing hardcore too. She's like, do not mess with me. You're so valid for that girl. I think Madison is trying to be a little responsible. Oh, not on the floor, Daisy. Come on. Okay, so let's just grab something to eat really quick before we drink. Oh my god, a chicken is dying while we're here. Oh, rest in peace, buddy. I didn't even know they had chickens. Let's just check up on Charlie, see what's going on. Ask about his day. Like, I think um, she feels kind of bad for putting him in this situation, knowing that everyone is kind of like, what the hell? Like, Mora's trying to be friendly. So she's just like, I'm sorry. Uh, trying to make it feel comfortable. But, you know, I think she's also... Okay, we're still grilling over here. How about we just eat? What's this? Destressing something? Okay. Yeah, let's just have them put the baby to bed. Or Donovan is like, I don't want to be out here. Oh, I think he's just having trouble napping out here. He wants to be in his dad's arms. That's so cute. Oh, my God. And Leon came to sit next to Daisy. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the drama. I don't even think they're really talking to each Oh my god. Now Leon's in a mood. <gasps> okay, he's playing ping pong. Anna's like, you know what, let me just de-escalate this. <laughs> Let's see. We also have to light a fire. Let's just go ahead and do that in case anyone wants to hang around here. Oh, here she goes limping. I kind of, uh, you know, we have to dance, but I'm afraid that that's going to hurt her more. Yeah, let, let's have her, <laughs> let's have everyone just dance together here. This poor girl. Okay, there is another tradition. Oh. She almost lit herself on fire. Here comes Madison, probably to be like, what is going on? And Daisy's like, please, I am in so much pain. I don't want to talk about it. Can we just please have some fun? <laughs> Mora. Mora will not miss a chance to dance, honestly. Okay, poor Donovan. I, I'm going to have Eric just put him in bed because he is not having a good time out here. Everyone else is just trying to dance <laughs> while the baby is screaming. Oh, and we had a successful cookout day. Okay, he's gonna take the poor baby to sleep. This leave him having him out here was a bad idea. And all this food and no one has eaten except Daisy. Come on, guys. Charlie 
<laughs> Charlie saw Leon dancing and he's like, I'm going to show him up. I'm going to show him how it's done. <laughs> Amora does not have a care in the world. And have poor Eric come down. Why don't you grab a drink, buddy? Aunt Daisy, why don't you grab a couple more drinks? I think Anna really likes Leon. Oh my god, everyone keeps making whatever the heck this is. Can y'all stop? Jake is just kind of there. Charlie, you can stop dancing. Why don't you grab a drink? <laughs> and how's she feeling? Excellent holiday. Canned memories. Feeling close. Camaraderie. Okay. Cozy fire. She feels pretty great, except of course for the leg and she burnt her arm. Oh, it started raining and it's four in the morning. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'd say it was pretty successful. Uh, no one ate. So let's take this cheese board back. Yeah, I'll take these sausage and peppers too. Leftovers for days. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just end the gathering. Everyone's exhausted. That was fun. A little awkward, but you know, it could have been worse. It didn't get messy. I was afraid it might. And how's she feeling? So... Okay, there are no negative sentiments here. Her just friends, a friend will always be there for a kind word. Maybe they established just being friends. Because I don't think I saw that before. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm glad we settled that. Before Leon leaves, let's just, um, let's just have a friendly little conversation with him. Lisa, all this food and you're eating applesauce. Okay, sure. Very flirty party from cocktail. Oh, excellent holiday. She's feeling pretty good. She's a little tipsy. You know what? I'm going to have her take Leon home. Leon probably, you know, takes her home. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I don't care. <laughs> but you know, maybe they don't do anything. Because even though I ended the gathering and people left... Leon stuck around, so maybe he just wanted to make sure she got home okay. And even though they've done stuff, I'm not going to have them do anything, okay? Um, but why don't you guys go inside together because it's raining hard. Well, I'm glad that it didn't rain on the party. Yeah, as much as I feel like in another world, she and Charlie do deserve to have the happy ending that they didn't get in medieval times. I really just want this to be her and Leon really bad. Let's just hope that we don't slip up again, Leon. Either one of them. I don't know. Why don't you express your gratitude? Thank you for getting me home. And I'm going to have her go to bed. He'll probably head back home himself or stay. Um, but I don't want them to just woohoo. <gasps> oh God, a romantic interaction. She's going to compliment his appearance. You look good. <laughs> That was autonomous. It's always, they exchange a few, a couple flirty words and suddenly they're woohooing. Well, that was just that one, but still, she's super flirty right now. He's feeling energized at five in the morning, but Daisy, you should go to bed. Okay. So she's just going to limp on. I, I feel like he would definitely help her get up there. So I'm just going to have him go home. Yeah. He wants to make sure she got here. Okay. Uh, after some awkwardness. Oh, she got she got a, a promotion. So we're going to be a botanist. And I'll just choose the work from home option. She has a cow plant berry. Now I don't have to do all that. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, so Daisy's... Why don't you stay asleep? Oh, no. Is she having issues sleeping because of her condition? Oh, Daisy's feeling exhausted, but restless sleep isn't coming easy. Poor girl. Don't play in the rain. You've gotten sick so much. So she's, so she's going to be like that for two hours. She is exhausted. Let's just go ahead and do some gardening. Ooh, and we can evolve our begonias. We're getting closer to perfect plants. Hampkin is looking fabulous back there. She's ready to harvest, but I'm going to wait, of course. Next week is the garden fair, so I don't want her to pluck it. But I'm going to have her plant the cow plant berry on this side of the house. And hopefully it'll be harder for people to reach. <laughs> Hiding amongst the bushes here, so go plant that. So one of the goals for this challenge is to grow a cow plant and keep it alive while she lives, so... 
that cow plant's gonna be around for a while. Can she take... Okay, so she could take some more ibuprofen. <laughs> Daisy's boss was disappointed with the work she did from home and she made zero dollars. What do you mean? What? And my cow plant disappeared. Guys, I have no clue where the cow plant went. I'm gonna wait to see if the, gap, if the cow plant somehow springs to life somewhere because I don't know where it is. Okay, she had a little more sleep. I'm gonna have her visit Kim to deliver some stuff. I just had her order some eggs because I have no chickens or anything. I might have her get a chicken coop at some point. You know, I'm just gonna order a cow plant berry because that's not fair, it just disappeared. Oh, there it is, right up front. How did it end up there? It said, no, I want to pose a threat to those around me. No, why don't you go back here? Thank you. Okay, I think her leg pain is gone. Finally, jeez. Oh, don't tell me she's getting sick, girl. Medication side effects. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, she's looking so cute. Girl, girl is tired. She just keeps taking tiny naps here and there. And she has to take a cutting from a plant. So let me just do that really quick. And we've got some stuff to evolve. That's awesome. The bees are feeling pretty good. Okay. Okay. They are not stinging her. So let's collect some honey. Okay, so Kim is out here setting up. I did give her a, a little makeover, changed her hair, gave her some skin details and whatnot. I'm just going to go around and change townies here and there. So let's have Daisy bike over here. we got to let Kim down, don't we? Okay, you know what? So despite the awkwardness, uh, I think she's feeling pretty good. She's definitely happy. She's got all these happy buffs after the events of yesterday. Okay, hey Kim. She's so tired. She just keeps micro napping everywhere. Okay, let's deliver these eggs. And then be like, I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know if like I should give her the mushrooms too. Here are your eggs, girly girl. And she's got the people person lifestyle. That's awesome. Okay, give her guards and mushrooms from Creature Keeper. I hope this doesn't hurt her feelings. Okay, she's not upset. Finding love in a small town is always a bit tricky. Well, you played your part. And for that, I thank you. It's back to the shop for me while I plan my next move. Okay. Okay, I guess she's not... Oh, I knew I could count on that creature keeper. Mushrooms. And a charming mushroom, no less. I, s I can certainly take a hint, and I do appreciate your help and discretion and all of... Does that mean she's Delulu about it? I, I'm i not sure, but I'm glad I could help. So I, okay, I've helped her. That's awesome. Daisy is exhausted. Okay, you know what? Let's just go home. I got some money, so let me purchase some more fall seeds. And maybe, oh, I wanted to get a stand mixer because in order to make pie, I need to make dough. Okay, we've got some grapes. We've got walnuts. I think that becomes a walnut tree, doesn't it? So let's plant it here with the other trees. She's got some wheat. Okay. And ooh, yellow tomato. Okay. Again, these are all brazen lotus. So let's go ahead and plant those. Where would I even plant the wheat? I guess I could put it over here with the cabbage. Okay, it's starting to rain again. Let me go ahead and buy her a stand mixer and prepare some dough because she wants to hand pies out to the neighborhood. Oh no, I can't afford it just yet. Okay, the next paycheck, we'll go ahead. Okay, so she's going to bed. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. She had a pretty fun cookout day, drama free, surprisingly, thankfully. I might just do some fun gameplay on my own. Next episode, I'll try to maybe have them go on a date, finally. Like an official date. So, yeah, this episode is pretty easygoing. I like the easygoing gameplay as opposed to more chaotic and tragic gameplay of my decade series which i also love so it's a nice balance here let me know what you guys think let me know what you think they should dress up as for spooky day and her spooky day party so 
as usual, I think I am gonna just do my end bloom like once a week. I'll try to do my ultimate decades twice a week, but you know, with my schedule, it kind of varies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you for the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.